Hi guys, so my good friend Ben Habib appeared on GB News on Friday as the results were coming in for Northern Ireland. And at the time, it was looking likely that Sinn Féin would win big. Of course, they went on to win big. Well, Ben laid out the problems this would mean for unionists there and for the UK as a whole. Of course, as a true Brexiteer, he blamed everyone but himself for providing a reason for voters to support Sinn Féin. But wait till you hear Ben Habib's argument for the union of Northern Ireland to Great Britain. You will not believe it. If Sinn Féin become the biggest party, which the polls seem to indicate, and when I entered this room, I think they had 14 out of the 19 seats declared. If Sinn Féin go on to become the biggest party, I would not underestimate their drive towards a border poll. And it is something that we should really have never have allowed. The control of that was in our government. It had to get behind unionism before these elections. They've sat on their hands. Lord Frost sat on his hands. Having concluded that Article 60 needed to be invoked, he actually did absolutely nothing about it. Liz Truss has done exactly the same thing. Brandon Lewis, the night before the elections, scotched any hope that legislation, which they had previously promised, would come forward in the new parliament, uh, neutering aspects of the protocol, absolutely putting people in Northern Ireland on tenterhooks. Now, this is, if Sinn Féin win, it's a catastrophe, I think, for unionism, and we will be facing uh, 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 calls for a border poll, and it is high time Westminster, and the government in particular, got behind the Union of the United Kingdom, which, remember, only exists as a result of Northern Ireland and Great Britain being in union. If we lose Northern Ireland, we lose the United Kingdom, we become Great Britain, and we lose the salt of St. Patrick in the Union Jack. And for those of us who were brought up under the Union Jack, that matters a lot. So it's high time this government took notice. So his entire argument for the Union is a flag. It's actually the Union flag, not the Union Jack. <laughs> but we'll park that. So the reason to defend the Union is because of a flag. Now, of course, we have to break this down a little bit. Why did people come out and vote for Sinn Féin? Why did people not come out and vote for the DUP? Because of their position on the protocol. People were asked on the doorstep, why, why are you coming out to vote? What is, what is your drive to vote? And many people said the cost of living crisis. That's why the Alliance Party picked up DUP votes. That's why a lot of people came out to vote for Sinn Féin. They were concerned about the, the cost of living crisis and Sinn Féin were talking about it and the Alliance Party were talking about it. The DUP, what were they talking about? The protocol. They were organising protests with this idiot. So, you are part of the problem here, Ben Habib. You convinced people to focus on the protocol, telling them that if we put enough, enough pressure on Boris Johnson, he'll trigger Article 16. Boris Johnson had no intention of triggering Article 16. Lord Frost, who you said, if we put enough pressure on him, he'll trigger Article 16. He had no intention of triggering Article 16. Neither had Liz Truss or um, Brandon Lewis. These people were playing you. And either Ben Habib didn't understand this, or he went along with it. He pretended not to understand this. I, I honestly don't know. Is Ben Habib an idiot? Or is he a charlatan? Or maybe he's a bit of both. I don't know. Because we were telling people like him, Brexit would be bad for the Union. And the response from Ben Habib and others was, stop scaremongering. That's not going to happen. The Union will be strong, stronger under Brexit. And now he's talking about how there's going to be a border poll. I don't think there's going to be a border poll anytime soon. Uh, a lot of work has to take place before a border poll is called. And once again, most people don't understand this, but the, the person who calls the border poll, do you know who it is? It's the Northern Ireland Secretary of State. The British Northern Ireland Secretary of State. It's not Sinn Féin, it's not the Irish government, it's not the EU, it's the UK government who has the final say on whether there's a border poll or not. That's part of the Good Friday Agreement. Something I don't know if Ben Habib agrees with. It's not the EU or Sinn Féin or Ireland who, who will call it. It's the UK government's responsibility. 
Now, this idea of let's blame everyone but ourselves is typical of these Brexiteers. We told you, Brexit would be bad for the union. And you said, we don't care. We want to go ahead anyway. The DUP are, are reaping what they have sown. They were adamant about how Brexit would be great for, for Northern Ireland, great for the Union, and now they're suffering the consequences of that. But let's get back to the main point here. The reason for the Union between Great Britain and Northern Ireland is because of a flag. He couldn't come up with an economic argument. He couldn't come up with a political argument. No, a flag. Really? That's what it's come down to? Flags? Let me know in the comment section, guys, what do you think about all of this? As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.